Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. <sighs> this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? <sighs> the sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. 
Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. I can't help you if you won't trash anything. I'll trash some stuff. Just not the stuff you found. Uh-huh. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it's, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. 
Is everything okay? I don't know. I just, I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I, I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in P.E. though. I can see why Chloe has such a hard time cleaning out her room. Oof. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town, all in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. But Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually... You bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, 
It looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Silver! You <laughs> were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek. Mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Dad, <laughs> get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it! All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek, ye've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see. What the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And uh bye. <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right, time to find this map. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year.
Yes! Take that, Rat King. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Bingo. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. You think it's still there? Should be, as long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure, somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, I might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Chloe's parents are so cute. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Hmm. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. The 
principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. The voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. strikes <laughs> how can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time it's awesome that chloe's mom wants to teach kids she'd be really good at it Gotta find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we ever plan here. There it is. get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. there. I just need a few more inches. I think that should be tall enough.
there is a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. I think I can squeeze through now. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Keep it moving, desk. <laughs> Crap. Closer. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. Maybe there's still some things in there. I guess Chloe's dad went through a hippie phase. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. Long Max Silver's eye patch. This will be perfect. Arrgh. That's so cool. I wonder how many different moments this thing is captured. This thing is empty.
Finally. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Haha! <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. On my way. Dark Cavern was no match for you, eh? Long Mac Silver to the rescue. Treasure's sure to be ours, Captain. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. All I'm saying is, I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. One time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this why I keep pushing off telling Chloe I'm leaving? Because I don't want to ruin this time together. What's up, dude? Bro. Don't you mean, sis? 
Maybe I meant nerd. Dork. Punk. Punks are cool. You know what, Max Caulfield? What, Chloe Price? You're the freaking best. That's all. Damn right. <laughs> About time you realized it. Just tell anyone and I'll deny it. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. <laughs> This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, I can. I never understood why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Land ho. Perfect. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, or er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet. Coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... Damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I think I saw some tape. Thanks, Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. If you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah, I probably look like a loser, huh? Yeah, totally. But we're losers together. <laughs> See? If you're a loser, Max, I don't think I want to be cool. It's just... This whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> well... Treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. I'll hold a ship down while you find some tape. Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. How, huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were going to be pirates forever. 
If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step left. No, wrong way. You said left. No, you're right. I'm right? What? No. I'm wrong? Just go that way. Oh, perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. That is not what we buried. What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. Ugh. <laughs> 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 uh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! 
It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. The Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine? <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. You were really sweet. Oh man, I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. I want to look at everything. It's good to see you, old friend. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. A time capsule. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. Lupin, we used to read every issue from cover to cover. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. I love how Polaroid cameras make every- This is probably the last thing Chloe's mom wants to see after a shift. Much better. Somebody's a goody two-shoes. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. I always look especially short next to Chloe. That was a good week. I used every possible excuse to be here for breakfast. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess, compared to that, Seattle's not so far. These used to make great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. This is Ann Rogers, Marissa's mother. Marissa from 
Blackwell, I need to talk to you about what your daughter did to Marissa in class today. I'll be keeping Marissa home with me tomorrow. At this point, I'm not comfortable sending her back to school at all. I don't know if your daughter is having trouble adjusting or what, but this needs to be addressed. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't want my parents to hear that. I've never gotten in trouble like this before. They already know. I... Um, I saw an email on your parents' computer. Shit. What happened? Something so minor. Her mom is exaggerating. I bet Marissa told her that I... I'm telling you, it's stupid. Come on. You've got to tell me what happened. I'm your best friend. Man, none of this would have happened if I had you around. I wouldn't care what anyone said. Uh, sorry. I don't mean it's your fault. I... Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I turned up her Bunsen burner in science. Just a little. What? No one got hurt. Not even close. You know that I know what I'm doing. Chloe. What do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and... calling me a scholarship kid. Is that why you wanted to throw away your hoodie? Don't worry. I'll keep it. That really sucks. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah. Thanks, Max. You sure were troublesome to find. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. Hey, little guy. <laughs> Aren't you cold in there? Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Maybe I'm worrying too much about this move changing things. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. Messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel. Yes? Pose for a photo with that?
Okay, tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. I still haven't told Chloe about my news. I, I can do that after I finish looking at everything. No peeking at my work. I wasn't. Get out of here. Is it weird how much I love looking through other people's photo albums? It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Is writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. This is so silly. <gasps> this jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She's already got enough drama from Blackwell. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really soon. Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. I should have just told you earlier. God, I feel so stupid. Max, I said it was okay. I thought about telling you this morning, but then I just felt guilty instead. Well, I'm glad you didn't. Then it would have been hanging over us all day. That's why I didn't bring it up either. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so I just left it alone, you know? Come on. 
I want to spend every minute we have together having fun. We'll keep in touch, okay? And visit, and maybe we'll move back. Who knows? Chill out. We can go to college together. It's gonna be fine. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. That's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. Mom? Black flies on the window sill. That we are, that we are, that we are to know. Winter stole the summer's thrill And the river's cracked and cold See the sky is no man's land A dark and plumed estate Hope your needs a humble hand Not a fox found in your place Black flies on the windowsill 